Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month right out of the gate. And that is because as we start the month, we are still in an extended period of eclipses that began early last month. It is going to be the lunar eclipse on the 5th of July that will bring this extended almost month of eclipse season to a close. And it does so with a beautiful lunar eclipse speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. This lunar eclipse is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication, contracts, documents, negotiation. It also speaks to your siblings, cousins, and neighbors. That Uranian connection says that there's surprise and fresh energy here. And the lunar eclipse tends to bring things to a close, sometimes very quickly, but it looks like it is a closure or a fruition that you like very much, thanks to that beautifully harmonious connection to Uranus. So for some of you, this may be a time when you're overlooking documents, you are signing contracts, you are coming to agreements with people that feels like it brings a long-standing issue to a close but also gives you a new lease we also have here good news or greater opportunity coming to you through a sibling cousin or neighbor this is a lunar eclipse that speaks to being in the right place at the right time meeting the right person and having a conversation that can change so much for you now. So if there ever was a time to be open to those random interactions, this really would be it. As we navigate later in the month, right around the 20th, we are going to have a new moon in fellow water sign Cancer. Now, part of what makes this new moon so special is that it is the second new moon happening in the same part of the sky. Normally you get one new moon per sign per year, but this time it's different. Last month's solar eclipse was a new moon and it is just a powerful new moon. That's what's indicated by a solar eclipse. And that took place in the same sign and it took place at the very beginning of its respective sign. So there was this sense of beginnings overall that already come along with a new moon and a solar eclipse that you add to it that it was at the very beginning of its respective sign. Well, there's a sense that a lot of it was about pure idea and possibility. Now, as we have the new moon, it may very well speak to new beginnings that are able to take root, practical new blessings showing up for you. Saturn is standing across the sky from this uh, new moon with precision. And that does suggest a need for compromise, a need to evaluate things with a realistic lens and understanding the work that's involved if you want to accept any opportunity that comes now. The part of the sky highlighted for you here has to do with understanding your place in the world. It's long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters. If you choose to engage in these areas with something brand new okay so we're talking brand spanking new <laughs> like you just decided that you are gonna make yourself permanent where it is that you've been visiting or you decide that you're gonna start a brand new legal process or you decide you're now gonna go back to school and you're gonna apply just know that you may have to be patient with the process that is because of that Saturnian connection and Saturn is about time and so you may have to be patient and you may be waiting on others uh, to come through as part of you feeling like you're able to advance. But for all that, it is now that a certain clarity can start to emerge. You understand what is required. Last time, it was more about an idea, a possibility. Last month, it was more about what might be good for you to pursue. But this month, it's about understanding what's actually involved and asking yourself if it is truly worth it. And if not, that really is okay. Part of the compromise may be understanding what it is that you genuinely feel called towards and what it is that you can now allow to come full circle as part of your brand new beginning. 
Now, where it comes to matters of love, there are a couple of things I'm going to ask you to take into consideration. One is that lunar eclipse, speaking with Uranus in your opposite sign, which tells me that love attraction may very well be part of what opens your mind at that time. But what is also happening this month is Venus ending shadow. And she does so while connecting with Neptune late this month. This is important for a few reasons. It was last month that Venus went direct. This month, as Venus ends shadow, she's essentially going to wrap up the larger Venus retrograde season. But the defining connection between Venus and Neptune is going to perfect for a third and final time, bringing any uncertainty to the surface as part of cleansing a type of cleansing that can take place now, whether it is illusion, whether it is disappointment, whether it is hope, whether it is aspirational, all of it may stir in you now as part of looking at it and deciding what stays and what goes as you move towards your future in the context of love. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, I love the energy of the lunar eclipse for you. It tells me that random interactions can turn into flirtation and help you to understand the options available to you in the context of love. That Venusian energy can be used to examine yourself, your own motivations more deeply as part of transforming yourself within to align with the love that you desire. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do like that energy of the lunar eclipse. It is fun and light and spontaneous, and there may very well be an experience that you have with this person early this month that is memorable. But as we navigate later into the month, it may be a time when you're looking more deeply at what it is that draws you to this person. Now, it may also be the case that you learn something about this person or you share more with this person and get kind of a mixed reaction. And so if your feelings are uncertain, it's okay to be in that. It's okay to acknowledge that. If it is that you end up feeling very vulnerable in a way that doesn't feel comfortable, it's okay to navigate that as well. Know that the further clarity is going to find you, but for now, it is about allowing truth to come forward and the truth of what you truly feel. And for those of you in an established bond, I do love the lunar eclipse. That energy is fun. It is a uh, light. It has to do with the two of you being open and being able to talk about anything surprising each other, delighting each other through communication. You absolutely can nurture that energy, especially early in the month. But remember with Venus, a lot of that energy is playing out in terms of your partner's uh, income or your partner's understanding of prosperity. It may feel like there's a little bit of an up and down uh, coming late in the month, but it's nothing that can't be navigated. It may be a time of very strong emotion for you and a desire to have your partner understand the depth of what you feel. What I love about this month for you, of course, it is that beautiful lunar eclipse early in the month. Once we navigate further, the energy does become on the one hand more serious, but sometimes we need that as well. Ideas are wonderful. That uh, lunar eclipse is all about the brilliant ideas, the new understandings, the new conversations that ultimately bring things to fruition or closure that allow change to take place. But it is going to be as you navigate further into the month that genuine compromise can be found. And it is from that space that you understand more fully what it is that you may be undertaking. And with that, you're able to make a responsible choice that has you feeling connected to a genuine sense of self-respect. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.